My name is Shamir Akhtar and I'm 21 years old and I'm from Pakistan. I came in the UK in 2005. I was quite happy, excited coming into a new country, new place. Didn't know how to speak English at all. I didn't really have any friends because I couldn't speak the language. People spoke about brands, having a PlayStation, having a TV. I was living in a one bedroom flat, so four people, me, my father, my mum and my brother, we all slept on the floor because we never had any money to buy a bed. I just felt so excluded. I kept on making up lies because I had to fit in. And that sort of carried on into year eight. London Games were happening, 2012. I was picked as a volunteer to be part of the opening ceremony. And I was excited. I think, wow, this is the biggest event ever. Then they asked for a passport. I remember everyone else going inside and I had to go home. That was when I realised my status in this country and it's not the same as every other British passport holder. Education was the only way I could change my life. Ayla was our starting, I wanted to be a doctor. We were still going through the legal process which started back in 2005. It's now coming up to 2015. We still haven't got a status. That was the worst stage of my life when my father was in 27,000 pound debt and there was just no hope for me. Whilst I was going through therapy, I was taking medication, is where I found we belong. And that's when I realized I'm not the only one in this place. There's other people like that out me. If other people have gotten through this, then why can't I get through this? I felt like I'd actually found a place where I could be my true self. When I had got my leave to remain, the therapy kept on going and I was getting better and better mentally. I had my medicine interview. I'd got into medicine as well, so finally my dream. But again, it came with a shock. They said I was classified as a foreign student, so 40,000 pounds a year. I had to say no to my dream. I declined the offer because I had no other choice. I want to be able to help people that have gone through the same thing. And that's what I believe We Belong is an excellent organisation because I found them and they gave me a sense of pride, a sense of you actually belong, that you, that you, that you have a worth. I now want to help other people who think the same way as I did before. That's what I want to do now. And if I can do that, if I can help someone not think that way, I'll be happy. I'll be happy.